Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalam, coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Now this video is going to be entitled The Afflictions Are to Perfect Us Alright You know and You know in this time We're getting closer to the end You know many of us You know all the brothers And myself included You know we're going through A number of different afflictions Or in fact all manner of afflictions We're going through Alright you know whether it be Whether it be afflictions you know, with your family, all right? Love if our family is turning against us, all right? Being persecuted, all right? Whether it be on the job, you know, to keep employment, you've been harassed, oppressed, all right? Whether it be a woman, all right? A lot of brothers, you know, going through hell with their woman, you know? You know, uh, you know, and, um, you know, whether it just be a, as, as, a, as a matter of our sin, you know, the sin we committed previously, you know, and we had to be, be being judged for it now. Alright, but you know, the point is, we're going through all different manner of afflictions. Alright, you know, and, you know, this is why you have to watch everything spiritually and understand that, hey, we have to go through afflictions. We have to have that mindset because, you know, this is how we have being perfected. So as the scripture says, you know, um, you know, the elect, Zechariah 13 and 9, he says the one third will go through fire. Alright, fire of what? The fire of afflictions. Alright? But the point is, you know, you know, too much too much tribulation, you know, is is, is much reward. Alright? So as we go into be being being um fired up with this fire, you know, like the picture you see on screen, the fire is burning. But guess what? It's burning off all the impurities, you know, all the wicked ways. You know, it's it, it's killing the flesh. You know, and the flesh, the desires. Alright? You know, and the Lord, the Lord sent the affliction in many different ways, as I was saying, you know. You know, he, he, send, he, he uses people also to chastise us, to pull us back. You know, when we go off. You know, things may happen, you know, we have to look at everything spiritually. Alright? So let me get some precepts here. Enough rambling on that. This is, um, this is, um, the book of Second Timothy. Chapter 1 and verse 8. Alright, it says, be, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, nor of me his prisoner, but be ye thou partaker of the afflictions. Alright, so but you have to be partaker of what the afflictions. Don't be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. But the testimony of the Lord of our Lord Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So to be able to speak this word and to prophesy, you know, it comes at a course. Alright? You know, when John the Baptist, you know, spoke uh, and uh, about Yahweh Shai, you know, he said that, you know, the one who come after me, you know, you know, he not fit even to, uh, to you know, to even touch his sandals, you know, is roughly paraphrasing. You know, and he will baptize you with, with, with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right? And that's the balance. The Holy Spirit representing the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the scriptures all right and with fire fires the afflictions all right so it's twofold you know one you can't get one without the other you can't get the the the, the all the understanding the deep breakdowns the, you know the holy spirit the gift of the holy spirit the gift of faith without going through the fire all right you know so so let's go second timothy one and eight be not thou therefore ashamed, don't be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me as prisoner, but be thou partake of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Heavenly Father, right? who hath saved us and called us with our holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us by Yahweh Shia Mashiach before the world began. Alright? So, you know, you know. We don't be ashamed, you know, of the pressure you had to go through, you know, as the scriptures say, count it all joy. You know? In fact, let me see if I can get that. Because that's a that's an important scripture. Count 
it's all joy. Um, James 1 and 2. Let me bring up that. Alright, so you count it all joy. Just bear with my moment here. Alright, James 1 and 2 says, My brethren, count it all joy when we fall into thy first temptations. Right, all the hardships, the afflictions. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith will get patience. Right, you know. So, so trying up, trying up our faith, the afflictions, you know, we we'll get patience, patience, not patience for what? Patience for the reward. Patience for wait, to wait on your shy. Lord said to wait till he rise up to the prey. All right. Verse four says, but let patience have her perfect work. Okay. So in other words, you know, if if you try and our faith work patience, we, we're gonna be afflicted, you know, until our patience is at the right point. You know, as at the perfect point. All right. That ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Alright? So we're gonna go through you each brother have their own level of affliction to go through to reach that point, you know, where you're perfect, where you're ready, you know, to, to be taken up to that chariot, you're ready for eternal life, you're ready to be changed. Alright? Now as the scripture said, you know, the Lord didn't promise us an easy time when we go into the scriptures, when we go into Sirach chapter two, you know, say when he comes to his truth, you know, roughly paraphrasing pay your soul for for for, for, um, for temptation all right and, and this is where it is this is where it is all right um let me see if i can yeah some i could have popped more scriptures here yeah this is um hebrews 12 and 7 it reads if you endure chastening the heavenly father deal it with you as with sons for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not so the lord chasteneth all of us all of his sons you know where when you have to get worried is when you're not going to do anything you're not being afflicted you know maybe the, the lord may not be dealing with you all right and we've seen that in the past you know in the camp you know you see certain brothers fell out you know they were they were pretty much it seemed that they were getting away with murder all right roughly paraphrasing you know but you know uh, you know uh, you know but really and truly the lord wasn't really working with them and this is the reason why all right so be joyful rejoice count it all joy all right count it all joy you know when we go into the scriptures king david you know who, who had a contrite and broken heart king david was when he, when he did wrong you know he repented he repented you know and you know what he, he listened he took his affliction which his house you know was torn up was torn apart and his son was trying to kill him you're trying to take the take the take the take the kingship, all right? You know, and even um, there's a Benjamite called Shimei or Shimei, and he was he pretty much you know was rebuking David, and David was humble enough to what to understand that it was Yahweh Shimei or Shai speaking through him, all right? And these are things that we have to keep in mind, brothers. You know, as we go through our afflictions, we have to keep in mind that you see, Lord, do it. You know, so you wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be uh, um, offended by the affliction that it, that it, that that you happening in your life. All right, you know, don't be offended. This is um, let's get Second Samuel, Second Samuel chapter sixteen and sixteen and verse five. Right, it reads, and when King David came to Bahurim, behold. Then came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, right? It's a relative of Saul, whose name was Shem, Shemai. You know, that, that in that translate to Shemai, the son of Jera. And ironically, the word Shemai means to hear or listen here. So, so I mean, this this is a um, like a no man omen, you know, a name a name sign, you know, because King David did listen to him, what he's saying, because you know. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, he, 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 was, he was speaking on behalf of the Heavenly Father because of, because of King, King David's sin. Alright, so let me read that over. Second Samuel 16 and 5. When King David came to Bahurim, behold, then came out a man of the family of the house of Saul, whose name was Shemiah, the son of Jira. He came forth and cursed still as he came, and he cast stones at David. And if you know these ben the Benjamites, Benjamites could pelt stone. 
a possible ball went into that. You know, in the video, they could, they could really chew, they could, they could hit a target flush on. All right? So you can understand, you know, the, the, the how King David was when this when this Benjamin came out and started a pelt stone. You know, as we say in Trinidad, pelt stone, throw the stones. All right? And at, at all the servants of King David and all the people and all the mighty men you know, who were on his right hand and on his left, because the mighty men were around David, and these men who did great feats. All right? And thus said Shimei when he cursed, Come out, come out, thou bloody man, and thou man of Belial. So, you know, you would better call him David, King David, a devil. Alright? Because you know why he, he killed um, he killed Uriah and took his wife and all those things like that. So, for all that indignation, you know, you know, the Lord was punishing King David. Alright? The Lord hath returned upon thee all the blood of the house of Saul. Alright, you know? In whose stead thou hast reigned, and the Lord hath delivered the kingdom into the hand of Absalom thy son, and behold, thou art taken in thy mischief, because thou art a bloody man. Alright? And you know King David, you know, killed King David killed thousands upon thousands of men. Alright? And this was this was the reason why too you know, King David wasn't allowed to build the temple. Alright? You know, because he was a man of war, you know, a man, you know, he, he had blood of blood on his hands. All right, verse 9 says, Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord, the king? Let me go over, I pray thee, and take off his head, which I believe Abishai was one of the mighty men. All right? Now listen to this here. Verse 10, it says, And, king, and the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruiah? All right? You know, because basically he, he, he rebuked, the king David rebuke him for saying that. He says, So let him curse. Because Yahweh had said unto him, Curse David. So it's your Lord. You know, man's going to the Lord. How shall a man know his own way? You know, he was following, you know, Shemai was Shemai was following Yahweh Bashem Yahshai's directive to curse out King David. So and King David was humble enough to understand. And this is how we have to be, brothers. We have to understand, you know, and don't be offended. You know, at the afflictions, you know, but through the afflictions, you pray. We have certain weapons, all right? You know, we, we arm ourselves with the afflictions, you know, as the, as the Apostle Paul and all, you know, used to say, you know, he glory in, in his tribulations, he glory in his infirmities, all right? So these are the things that we have to understand, you know, that lead to perfection. We have to go through these things. So King David said, What have I yet to do with you, ye sons of Zerai? So let him curse. Because Yahweh had said unto him, Curse David. Who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? Right? And David said to Abishai, To all the servants, Behold, my son which came forth of my bowels, Seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone, and let him curse. For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had bidden him. Right? It may be that Yahweh will look on mine afflictions, see that word, and that Yahweh will requite me good for his cursing this day. Right? And as David and his men went by the way, Shemai went along on the hillside over against him and cursed as he went, and threw stones at him and cast dust. So you see, this is what David, King David, endured that affliction. You know, and that shame, and he was a king. All right? You know, because because Shemai, he, he, he was he was the, the instrument of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know, to speak unto King David. Alright? To speak unto him to make him hear. To make him listen. Alright? To Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Alright? You know, and the word Benjamin or Banyamian means son of the right, son of the right who? The right hand side of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Alright, so hey, you know. You know, this is this these these are these are uh, are lessons for us to learn. Alright? And let me guess let me get some more precepts here. You know, it's so it's so important for us to understand these things, brothers, you know. Because it's not easy when we're going through these these afflictions. We know it's not easy. You know, it's not it's not a pleasant thing, but we know a we know a the gift, the gift and the reward that's coming up behind is immeasurable is immeasurable the second timothy chapter 4 
and verse 5, it says, But watch thou what in all things, right? So we're supposed to watch in all things, we circumspect, endure afflictions, do the work of the evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So it's supposed to endure afflictions and push with this word, do this work. Alright? Do this work. You know? Do this work throughout all the hardship. You know, all the troubles. Alright? Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 4. It reads, But in all things are proving, you are proving, and he said, in all things are proving ourselves as the ministers of the Heavenly Father. So in order to approve ourselves as the ministers of the Heavenly Father, is what we have to do. In much patience. Right? We read about patience working unto perfection through the afflictions. So it's all related in afflictions, in necessities, because we need stuff, right? In distresses. You know, this is how we do it. You know? You know? This this is how we used to do it. And all the affliction that we have to go through is light, you know, you know, and they compare to the to the the, the reward that's waiting. The second Corinthians chapter four and verse sixteen. It says, For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man do our outward man perish, yeah, we perish and through the affliction. We feel messed up, some of our bodies in our mess, we had to go and exercise. Alright. You know, we, we be sick. You know. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day, the spirit. Alright, for our light affliction, because this, this affliction seems heavy, but it's really light. Alright? Which is but for a moment, so it seems like it's a long time, but really it's for a moment in comparison to the time for immortality and the animal and perfection. Alright? So it's but for a moment working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this is affliction is working for us. It's actually doing work for us. The fact that we're going through these things, these things. This is why we have to go through these things. This is why we have to forego the benefits and the enjoyment and the pleasures of this world. Alright? Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. And as the blessing of you know being in this truth, being a man of the Lord, you know, look seeing seeing things that other people can't see. You know, the, the two thirds can't see this. Right? It reads for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. This is the hope that we have. The hope in things that we can't see. But yet the things that we can't see, you know, it made those things which do appear. Alright? Alright? You know, and, and our afflictions might be heavy, but hey. You know, it may be many and heavy, but it's still light in comparison to the blessing that is waiting for us. Psalm 34 and 19. It reads, many are the afflictions. And in fact, let me let me read from um let me read from verse 17. It says, The righteous cry and your I hear it, and deliver them out of all their troubles, right? The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart and save it such as of your contrite spirit. So you have to have a broken, humble spirit. You know, and pray unto the Lord. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivered him out of them all. Notice the key things in here humility, meekness, a contrite, broken spirit. This is the mindset that you have to have. Verse 20 says, He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Right, just like how a shy bones weren't broken. Alright? You know. And King David went through a lot of afflictions. Scriptures talk about the afflictions of King David. You know, when he had to flee from King Saul when he was trying to kill him. Alright? You know. You know all these things. Let me let me bring in some couple more scriptures and I'll close this out. Let's get um Slack here. Spare with my moment there. Second Timothy chapter three verse eleven. It reads um and this is talking about Paul, this is just quick scripture talking about Apostle Paul where he went into where he, where he, where he endured. Alright. Um, verse 11 says, Persecutions, afflictions which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. 
what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. You know, yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach will suffer persecution. So you hear it? So all are gonna live godly, gonna come back to the Lord, gonna suffer persecution. Alright? So we have we have to bound to, we must suffer persecution, suffer afflictions in order to make it in the kingdom. Alright? The scripture talk about, you know, the straight gate, out that straight path, that position of difficulty. Alright? So that we have to go through the all that to, you know to make it. To make it to the Lord. Right, to, 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 to earn our place in that chariot. Alright? And this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about, brothers. This is what it's all about. You know? Putting on that mindset. Let's get another scripture. Uh, let's get um this first Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 3 uh, let me see alright 1 Thessalonians 3 and 1 it says we are for we could not could no longer forbear. We thought it good to be left at Athens alone. So Apostle Paul talking here. And sent Timothy as our brother and minister of the Heavenly Father and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Hamashiach, right? Doing the works, but brother and brothers, to establish you and to comfort you concerning the faith. And this is what we have to do to one another. Comfort one another in, in the afflictions. Alright? So when we go to Matthew chapter 25, you know, first 31, go long and talk about Yahweh Shai when he comes back. And he called the elect him, you know, he's gonna say, you, you know, you've done it, you 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 you've you've helped you helped me, you feed me, and, and so forth, clothing me, that's roughly paraphrasing. But as the comfort and as the love that we show to the, towards the brothers, you know, when the brothers have a need, you know, and you could help your help. Alright, because as men, as much as you do done to them, you do not done to your shy. Okay? So and that no man should be moved by the affliction, but these afflictions, don't be moved by them. Alright? Um, for yourselves know that we are appointed there unto because yourself you see we are appointed unto unto what afflictions for verily when we were with you we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even at this, as as it came to pass and we know for this cause when I could no longer forbear I sent to know your faith lest by some means attempt to have tempted you and our labor be in vain so don't let the tempter tempt you and all the labor be in vain you know because we, 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 only, we only reach the end of our race when we finish this race, when we finish the course. It's the Apostle Paul saying, you know, we had to continue in this faith until the end, whether until we pass from this from this flesh, the Spirit goes up to the Lord, or until we see that the chariots come, the chariot come and Yahweh Shai come, you know? You know, this is how, this is how we have to think, all right? Then endure those afflictions up to that point, that straight gate, that straight way part, you know, that position of difficulty. You know? Alright, let me get let's get Hebrews. Look at Hebrews. Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty two. Yeah. Hebrews ten. Psalm verse 31 it says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God, right? You know, but call to you to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated you endured a great fight of affliction because the demons don't want us to continue in this faith. You know, they're gonna fight against us. You know, they're gonna fight us down for this word, for coming to this truth, for understanding this knowledge. This knowledge is precious. You know, it's like the purest gold. It's worth more than gold. It's a true treasure. Right? It's true treasure. Worth more than gold and silver. Alright? So when we illuminated, because we had illuminated on the right hand side, we had illuminati on the right hand side. Alright? You know, it's, it, it comes with along with the great afflictions. Alright? Verse 33 says, partly 
while you made you you were made a case in stock right because when we only hire any buyers what, what are we a case in stock right they laugh at us they make fun of us right both by reproaches and afflictions and when in the truth they say i'm mad and i've been told that personally and partly you know so by our reproaches and afflictions people reproach you for your wish right? and they afflict you and partly whilst you became companions of them that were so used their companion the brothers going through the same thing you know jumping on the verse 35 it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward all right for ye have need of patience that after ye will have done the will of the heavenly father ye might receive the promise so this is what this is what it is it promises coming so hold fast don't give up to the afflictions arm yourself with the right mindset you know and let me let's get that mindset let's get micah book of micah 7 and verse 9 right it reads i will bear the indignation of your hour right because i have sinned against him right we sin so we deserve what we really getting you know until he plead my cause and the lord is going to please our cause plead our cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and i shall behold his righteousness so the lord is going to execute judgment for us he's going to bring us forth he's going to make us shine in the end all right he will bring us forth to the light and i will behold his righteousness so this is the mind state that we have to be in all right this is the mind state that we have to be in being the indignation of the lord you know being our affliction you know you know being our good soul there all right a good soul there you know sticks on to the end you know fights to the end either till he dies or either till you know the war is finished all right so the war is not finished for us it says first peter chapter 4 and verse 1 it says for as much then as your shy had suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind same mind same mind bear the indignation of the lord for he that have suffered in the flesh had ceased from sin right now we know that sin is the transgression of the law all right we know that sin is the transgression of the law all right you know and the wages of sin is death you know so when you see some sin what's going to happen eternal life is waiting for you all right eternal life is waiting for you okay so let's go first peter chapter 5 and verse 9 it says be sober be vigilant because in fact let me so hold a second first peter 5 verse 9 yeah it says be sober be vigilant because you had first three the devil as a roaring lion walk it about seeking whom he may devour so the devil is walking around seeking whom he may devour so hey this is why you have to stay strong and and, and and you know you have to use the tools that the lord gave us to protect yourself which is good into what fasting and prayer all right so verse 9 says whom re whom resist steadfast uh um, seeking whom may devour whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world as a point you know they, everybody's each brother going through affliction don't think that you know you're special in this and you know you know it's only you no 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 this is why we have to comfort one another verse 10 says but the god but the power of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by your hour shy mashiach after he have suffered a while so we suffer only for what a while make you perfect right because suffering and afflictions lead to patience and patience work to what perfection you see brothers it's in ways all piecing together it says make you perfect establish right establish us in his faith you know rooted and grounded strengthen settle you all right this is what it is all right now let's get second edge just Pull this up. Uh. 
Uh, actually, let's get the book of Jude. Let's do a quick, a quick precept here. Just to illustrate our point. Judith, yes, yes, let's go here. Judith chapter 4, verse 13 says, um, So the Heavenly Father heard their prayers. This is when, you know, all Israel was going through famine. So the Heavenly Father heard their prayers and looked upon their afflictions. For the people fasted many days in all Judea and Jerusalem before the sanctuary of the Lord Almighty. So when you when you fast and pray, you know, it's also a weapon for you, Lord, to, to hear you, you know, in your affliction. Fasting and praying, and especially now in this time, every brother, you know, need to be fasting and praying, you know. So the Lord could hear, hear your prayer in the affliction and help you, you know, because when you're going through the affliction, you know, your prayer is, is more, is more uh, uh, um, sincere. All right. You know, it's more sincere. All right. So with that, you know, just, you know, I'm, huh. let me see, let me just check one more scripture here. Yeah, Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself be a witness with our spirit that we are the children of the heavenly father, right? Yeah, and you know what, they get the spirit, what? It comes with afflictions, right? Verse 17, and if children, then ears, ears of the heavenly father and joint ears with her mashiach right joint ears as a reward if so be that we suffer right so if we suffer with him so when we suffer with your shy that we may be also glorified together so that's the that's the reward we're going to be glorified with our lord all right we're going to be glorified with your shy when your shy come back you know that that'll be it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. You know, Matthew twenty-five and thirty-one. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory, which is the chariot, right? And before Him shall be gathered all nations, and He shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. All right. That's that good until to the speckled bird too. Right? If it were, you know the massive multitude. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So that's the great reward for partaking in your Shai's afflictions. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa, Abad Babal, destruction unto Babylon, and Shalom.